Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. Thanks for joining us on this video. If you're using Claris FileMaker and you want to send email, this particular video is exactly for you. Now, there'll be three parts to this video. The first part, we'll talk about creating a brand new file in FileMaker, setting it up to send a plain text email. It's really easy to do that and it won't take us long at all to construct that and get that going. Then the second part of the video, I'd like to talk about using the brand new rich text add-on, which was something introduced in FileMaker 19. And that will give you the ability to provide users a way to modify and stylize their email in the way that users expect. You'll be able to make the text bold and italic and underlined. You'll be able to insert a picture and have that embedded. But there's one little problem with this scenario. FileMaker out of the box cannot send HTML formatted emails. It can only send plain text emails. So that's a conundrum. So the third part of the video will address how we get around that in FileMaker, where we can use either third-party plugins to send stylized HTML formatted email. We can use an API, or in the example that I'll be showing, we'll be using our Outlook manipulator plugin and sending that email directly with Microsoft Outlook on Windows. So this first part will create a brand new file in FileMaker and we'll use that to send a plain text email. So I'll create a new blank file. I'll call it send mail and I'll put that on my desktop. Now for the fields, I only need two, which is the recipient. Then I need the subject and the message, which is the body of the email. And those will appear on my layout. I'll just jump into layout mode here and make some little adjustments. Make the message a little wider here and taller and the subject a little wider and the two a little wider still. All right, that takes care of that. Then I'll create a script and the script will be called send mail. And I'm going to just keep this really simple. And I'll just use the send mail script step, which is built into FileMaker. And you have two choices. You have the email client, which is going to use your local email client on the machine itself or an SMTP server. We'll use the email client and then we'll start assigning the required fields here. We'll need a two. So I'll specify the field name to be the two, which is the field I just created. I'll leave the CC and the BCC blank, but I will put in the subject. The subject is here on that field, and then the message will be the message. And that's really all there is to it. Now, normally a script would have some error trapping, maybe some comments. I'm just going to keep the one command here just to keep this simple and quick. I don't want to spend too much time on all the formalities because we need to get to the HTML part here soon. So I'll just call this send mail or send email, and then we'll have that button perform, uh, perform the script called send mail. All right, perfect. And then the button needs to be formatted a little bit more like a button. I guess we'll do the large field, but then I'll make the font a little smaller. All right, so that's it. That's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and prepare uh, an email address. So I'll just use a test email that I've been playing with here. C1 at productivecomputing.com. Test email plain text. Test of the message. Okay. Now, if I go back into ScriptMaker here and see, I have the choice to send it with or without a dialog. I'll send it with a dialog on so we can see what that might look like. And then I'll send this now. It's going to open up my email client and prepare an email that goes to this recipient. And there it is. Now, I don't even need to send this. I'll just close this now. And we'll do one more thing here. I wanted to just show you that if you actually put in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash some website, <clears throat> that will queue up this. And if I actually send this now, and then do a receive on that. Here it comes. Now you can see that this is a clickable link that'll go to our website. So even though it's plain text, it actually does support a link provided you use the HTTP so that the receiving browser knows how to interpret that as, an, as a URL. And that's great for internal messages. It's good for 
you know, notifications, simple things like that that you want to send, have FileMaker send out of email. But it's not exactly conducive to marketing or proper communications or an elegant way of communicating an overall message. It doesn't have any imagery. It doesn't have any stylized text. So for that, you want to use HTML as the format, and you'll need some form of a third-party plugin to send that email as HTML, or you could use an API. And I'll be showing you that here in just a minute. But before we do, we still have the issue of how do you construct this in a way that creates the HTML without the user actually having to use or know HTML? Because technically speaking, the HTML has to be sent in the email as the body in order for the mail client to receive it as an HTML email. Now we already created an elaborate video explaining how to use the rich text editor add-on with FileMaker 19. And you can feel free to make note of this particular video and watch it if you want to learn all the details about how the rich text editor works and the options available. So let's just take this message here and move it down to the bottom of the screen so we can see what the raw message might look like. And then we'll incorporate an add-on. So I'll select this add-on option here. The add-ons can be found over here in the objects area for add-ons. Then I'll click this plus symbol down here and select the rich text editor. That will be what we're looking for. And then I can simply drag this rich text editor here as if it's going to be the new way that I construct the body of this email. Now, as I go back into browse mode, it'll warn me that it hasn't been configured. And it's really one of the simplest add-ons to work with. All I need to do is select the message body for the field that we want to edit and push save. And just like that, we now have the HTML down here in the original message field. And then in this web viewer add-on, I've got my text that I can construct. So now I can do this test of the message. And there's our link. We'll leave all of that, but we'll just say header and we'll put that in a header format like this. And then we'll say, this is bold. And we'll select that and make that bold. And you can see all of this is, this markup is being constructed down here. This is italic. And we will take that from being bold and make it italics and underline. And we'll take that from being italics to underline. All right, well, let's insert a link. So this will be just the link and I'll put PCI, but I want this as the URL. So I'll do this and I'll highlight the PCI, but then I'll use this link button and then save it. So now this is a clickable, the word is PCI, but it's clickable and ac actually navigates you to the homepage. Then this configure button here allows me to go and configure an optional toolbar from basic to advanced. And once I do that, the toolbar expands and then I can insert an image down here if I want using this image tool and I can send an image. Want to send a map of the US? I can do that. And what it does is it converts the image to base 64 code, something that email can understand. All right, so there's my somewhat formatted email, but certainly far more formatted than plain text. And that's part two of the video where we talk about the add-on, the rich text add-on. All right, so now that we've got this text constructed, what if I just click send mail, what happens? So it doesn't provide you with the formatted text, it just provides you with the HTML raw text, which of course is gonna be unacceptable for the recipient. Even if I format this as HTML, it won't show up as HTML. It'll just be text, raw text. So that isn't usable, and that's because FileMaker doesn't really support HTML text by default. So I'm gonna delete this plain text email, and I'll jump over to Windows, and we'll construct this in Windows so that we can see it work. Okay, here's my Windows instance. I'm just gonna copy that solution or that FileMaker file or that FileMaker app, however you wanna look at it, to the Windows environment. And now I'm over in Windows and I'll open that up here. 
and that'll open up. Now I have the Outlook Manipulator plugin. This is a plugin we sell here at Productive Computing. I've got that already loaded, ready to go. And I'll just jump over to the demo that comes with that particular plugin. And I'll make sure that it's active. Okay, so here's the file we were just working on, on the Macintosh. And then I'll open up the Outlook Manipulator folder which comes complete when I install the Outlook Manipulator. And this is the demo file that you'll see with that. So I've already got it installed. I'll just quickly click the register button that establishes the use of it. And then I'll authenticate with Outlook. I have Outlook running here in the background on my Windows machine. And I'll select one of these addresses in order to use to tell it which mailbox to work with. All right, so now Outlook Manipulator is installed and it understands that Outlook is running and it's established a connection between FileMaker and Outlook. So the demo file now can just sort of go away here. I'll just hide that. And we'll go back to our file that we just created moments ago. It's a brand new file. And I'll go back into that same script. And you'll note here that all of these additional scripts were as a result of adding that text add-on. So I'll just hide those and go back to our script, which is the send mail. Now, obviously, I don't want to use the built-in command to do this because it won't work any better than it did on Macintosh. So I'll highlight that and comment it out. So now I'll create a new script step here, and I'll call that mail. And here, because the plugin is installed, it knows that there is a send mail command that I can use for the plugin. And that becomes a brand new script step Whenever you install this plugin, it's sort of magical. It comes up as if it was a script step built in, but it's part of the plugin. So here I just need to configure this. So I can just click on this gearbox here, and then I can choose all of these. Uh, I can fill this out. So for the results of where I want the message result to be, whether it was an error or a success, I'll put that here in a variable, and I'll do double dollar sign results just as a placeholder for what the plugin returns after it completes. Then the two, well, that's just as simple as putting in the two uh, for the field. And then we're going to leave CC and BCC blank. Subject, simple enough. We'll just double click subject and put that in there. The body is going to be the message field. No attachments at this time. And we are telling it to use the HTML format, which again is something that FileMaker itself can't do built in. You need a plugin to do this. Now that I've got the plugin wired and ready to go, I can just close this and it's the same script with the same button. So I should be able to send this now. So I'll send mail. Now if I want to see the results, I can go here to data viewer and look at the results. Now a value of zero when it comes to our plugins means success. Zero means there's no error. There's no error number being sent back. So if that worked the way it was supposed to, I'll go to the email here. And we'll first see if it sent it in the sent items. I don't think this is synced yet. So let me just send and receive. And let me go check the inbox. And now my mail has arrived. I'll double click it so we can see. So here we now have an HTML formatted email. I've got a header in larger font with bold. Then I have a regular body text. I have this in bold, this in italics, this in underline. Then I have this as a underline link, sort of the old fashioned way. And then this is a link that's more like a proper link where it has a short name and then the link underneath. And then I have the photo here that we embedded as part of the email. So using the Outlook manipulator is probably the best way to work with email or any kind of Outlook integration when it comes to FileMaker. It's a plugin purpose built for that. If you are looking to do other types of uh, email, HTML email with an SMTP server, you certainly can look at uh, many third parties in our industry that produce plugins that send mail from FileMaker. You just do a Google search for mail and FileMaker, and you're bound to bump into several of them that do this, each having their own little flavor and their own take on it. So if you're looking to incorporate email with FileMaker, we have a full team of developers here at Productive Computing who would be more than willing to take a look at your solution and provide some general guidance and help. We can incorporate automated text-based emails. We can incorporate HTML emails with third-party plugins or APIs. Feel free to go to our website and reach out and connect. 
So to recap what we did here, we took a brand new file that we created in FileMaker. We set it up so that it can send a plain text email with a to, a subject, and a body or a message. Then we created a script and had that script send the email out. Then part two is we established a body that was editable in a way that's user-friendly while at the same time constructing HTML code in the background in that field. Then the third part was demonstrating how we could take that newly formatted field and send an actual HTML email, which is something not built into FileMaker natively, but rather something you need a third party to do. And we demonstrated that on Windows using Microsoft Outlook. So thanks for joining us on this video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you like content like this, feel free to give it a like up. And don't be shy. Leave a comment if you'd like. And to either provide feedback or ask more questions, we are definitely happy to answer those here on our channel. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one.